There are many versions, Bluetooth version 1 and Bluetooth version 1.0b, Bluetooth 1.1, 1 .1, uh, version 1.2, Bluetooth version 2.0 plus EDR, Bluetooth version 2.1 EDR, Bluetooth version 3.0 plus HS and Bluetooth version 4.0. Let us start with the device discovery section. As you can see, the source code is bit lengthier than the Python code. Let us break it down for clarity. First we find the API function HCI get root. This function is used to get the local Bluetooth adapter's resource number. This is not the same as Bluetooth device address. The Bluetooth adapter resource numbers are starting from zero and continue. After we have successfully retrieved the adapter id, we use HCI open dev function to create a socket connection to the local Bluetooth adapter. Now it is time to search for nearby devices. The API function HCI inquiry is used to search for devices within the range. After executing this function, the array name devices will contain nearby device information. BlueZC library uses a special structure to hold Bluetooth device addresses. If you need to get the string representation of a Bluetooth device address, use BA2STR function. This function will convert the special structure into a string of hexadecimal numbers. Finally, need to know the user-friendly names of the found devices. For this purpose, we can use the function called HCI Red Remote Name. Version 1.0 and 1.0b had many problems and manufacturers had difficulty in making their products interoperable. Version 1.0 and 1.0b also included mandatory Bluetooth hardware device address translation in the connection process which was major setback for certain service plan for using Bluetooth environments. Version uh, 1.1 rectified as IEEE standard 802.15.1 It was introduced uh, 2002. Many errors found in the 1.0b specifications were fixed when you move into version 1.1. Uh, at the 1.2 version, it is backward compatible with 1.1 and the major enhancement include the fast connection and discovery, adaptive frequency hopping spread spectra which improves uh, resistance to radio frequency interfer interference by avoiding the use of routed frequency in the hopping sequence. Version 2 Core specification was released in 2004 and is backward compatible with the previous version 1.2. Version 2.1 EDR Bluetooth core specification version 2.1 plus EDR is fully backward compatible with 1.2 and was adapted by, by the Bluetooth uh, SID on 2007. Version 3 plus HS of Bluetooth core specification was adapted by Bluetooth SID on uh, 2009. It supported theoretical data transfers, speeds of up to 24 megabit per second, and uh, 
it was two, uh, I, I, I triple the standard 802.11 link Bluetooth 4 on uh, June 12, 2007 Nokia and Bluetooth SIG had announced that Wirebree will be a part of Bluetooth specification and as an ultra low power Bluetooth technology In December uh, 2009 Bluetooth SIG adopted Bluetooth low energy technology as the Hallmark future of the version 4. In April 2010, the Bluetooth SIG completed the Bluetooth core specification version 4, which includes classic Bluetooth, Bluetooth high speed, and Bluetooth low energy protocols. Bluetooth high speed is based on Wi Fi, and classic Bluetooth consists of legacy Bluetooth protocol. Bluetooth is low energy reason enhanced that uh, allows to two type of implementation dual mode and single mode in a dual mode implementation Bluetooth low energy functionality is integrated into an existing classic Bluetooth controller the resulting architecture shares much of classic Bluetooth existing radio and functionality resulting in minimum cost increasing compared to classic Bluetooth existing radio and functionality resulting in minimum cost increase compared to classic Bluetooth. Additionally, manufacturer can use current classic Bluetooth chips with the new low energy stack enhanced in the development of classic Bluetooth enabled device with new capabilities. Next we move to the RFCOM connection with C language section. Now let us see how we can create the RFCOM connection using Blue's C API. In this example we have a server device and a client device. The server waits for a connection and prints whatever data it has received. The client on the other hand connects with the server and sends a short message. Initially, the server creates a RFCOM type socket. Socket function is used to create the socket. After the successful completion, this function will return the newly created RFCOM type socket. Next, it chooses the bind function to attach incoming connections with the operating system resources. This function will accept previously created socket and a structure, which holds the address of the local Bluetooth adapter along with the port number to be used, as the first two parameters. You can leave the last parameter as shown in the figure. The listen function puts the socket into listening mode. While it is in the listening mode, any incoming connection will be added to a pending connections queue. The accept function will accept the same amount of incoming connections as given in the parameter to the listen function. If you pass one to the listen function, then accept function will accept only one incoming connection. Accept function will return a separate socket for the client end of link, and the address and port number of the client. Finally, the server receives data from the client, by using the client socket and, prints them out. Now let's take a look at the client part of the code. As described earlier, the client also creates a RFCOM socket. And then, it connects with the server by providing server address and port number as the parameters to the connect method. After the connection has been established, it sends a message to the server using the send method. Finally it closes the connection by calling to the close method 